Here we go. So everyone, please look at this picture. What does it remind you of? To me, this reminds me of my childhood and having all those memorable memories. It reminds me of me having a fake little cashier and playing store with my dad. And it also reminds me of having a big whiteboard outside of my house and pretending to teach my dogs how to spell. <laughs> <laughs> and the one thing I have to highlight about this is that there, were no tech there was no technology involved. No phones, nothing to distract me, and have me addicted to something right in front of me. Today I will be discussing the smartphone addiction and its negative effects that it has on us. And I will also be providing some things inside and another solution for it. According to a New York Times article, most people now check their phones 150 times per day, or even six minutes. And 45 smartphone users even said that they can't live without their phones. Now this is very terrifying because one little thing in front of us is what's keeping us from doing anything outside of our dorm rooms and anything. We have become addicted and it has been one of the one of the things that keeps our mind in one spot and we forget about everything else outside of our circle. Now, one of the biggest problems is the lack of social interaction. Now, if, if comparing the picture of the kids and now looking at this picture, we see the difference. How many of you have experienced this before when interacting with somebody else? You're out with friends and someone constantly takes out their phone or even can't last any can't last a few minutes without it. And then how many of you have been that person when interacting with somebody else? It's okay, you can feel guilty, me too. And this is one of the most annoying things you can do when hanging out with your friends. The most important connections are with your friends, your family, talking about deeper conversations instead of being focused on one little screen. According to a research article, mobile devices play a complex role in modern social interactions. This research, in this research article, it also had a survey asking individuals about how they felt when having phones during social interactions. And when asked about this, 82% of adults said that their phones affected the social interaction and frequently hurt the conversation. And I hope that you guys really reflect on this and see that it's a huge problem in our generation today. Because it breaks the connection and it also creates tension between you and the other person who's talking to you. Let's say someone's talking about a deeper conversation, something serious, a secret they want to tell you. And you're over here on your phone focusing on what somebody posted, who texted you, and everything else like that. Now, in the same New York Times article, I previously stated, which is called Act on Our Smartphones, a licensed clinical social worker, Nancy Porter, said, it's connections to other human beings, real life connections, not digital ones, that nourish us and make us feel like we count. Our presence, our full attention, is the most important thing we can give each other. Digital communications don't result in deeper communication, a connection, in feeling loved and supported. Now, after seeing that quote, it made me realize how important it is to focus on another person and how much we forget about that now in our generation. Everything revolves around phones, social media, and who texts you, what you have to search up, what YouTube you've been watching, and that is one of the biggest subjects. Now, another negative thing about our phones is that it affects our quality of sleep. Now, how many of you have seen that? When using your phone before sleeping, it causes you not to be able to sleep or keeps you more awake. Now, according to a study at Harvard Medical School, blue light can affect your sleep and potentially cause disease. Now, blue light is a thing that is in your phone screen and it keeps you up late at night. It takes away your sleepiness and it also keeps your mind ready. And in this article also, it said that night, Light throws the body's biological clock, the circadian rhythm, out of whack. Now, many of you are probably wondering, what is the circadian rhythm? Hmm. <laughs> that is a natural cycle of physical, mental, um, 
Physical and mental behavior changes that a body goes through in a 24 hour cycle. Now this will keep you up, keep your mind focused. I've actually seen that in my own personal opinion. I'm using my phone before going to sleep. And I can remember thinking about who last texted me, what YouTube video I was looking at, what homework I had missed, and that is a thing that keeps me up at night. And I've seen that negatively impact me. And that is why we have to realize that putting our phone down is one of the biggest helpers and a positive impact that will help <laughs> let you sleep at night and have a quality sleep and get your hours in. Now, according to a Pew Research article, college students were asked if they thought that their sleep was affected by their phones. And 52% of the students realized that their sleep was affected frequently by their phones. 30, 31 said that it did frequently affect them, and 17 said never. Mm. Now, apart from sleeping, eyesight is one of the things being extremely affected by this. Now, as many of you probably have actually gone through also, during distance learning and the whole COVID process and being school at home, it affected my eyesight. I saw it. I remember going on my computer and on my phone and saying, oh, well, this is fine. Like, it's not gonna do any any harm to me. It's fine, I have to finish these assignments. And little did I know that it would affect my eyesight. And it really did. Now, being in person, I can see the difference. Now, according to a research article of Health Sciences, there is a worry over lasting effects of screen exposure because of the closeness of the screens and the duration of time that is spent on them. And sitting in front of our devices causes dryness of eyes, eye strain, and tiredness. And the next negative effect is anxiety, especially separation anxiety with our cell phones. So I don't know if you guys have noticed, but sometimes when you go out and you don't have your phone around you, you feel worried, maybe scared. You're like, oh, I wonder what's happening on my phone, who's texting me, who's posted, what, what am I missing out on? And the biggest problem is that when your phone dies, what's the first thing that you want to find? A charger. And that's the biggest problem, <laughs> okay? For individuals, this object is unhealthy because we always feel the need to have it. In a research article, teens were asked what emotions they felt the most when being away from their phone. And not surprisingly, anxious was the first one. And it was by it was by the largest spirit, 42% of teens. And lastly, in another research article of Journal of Behavior Addictions, it states people of all ages are so connected to their phones that it has become common to have phantom vibration syndrome. And this is where you leave your phone aside, do homework on your computer, read a book, anything. And you feel like the phone has buzzed. Now I have personally felt this and it's very scary because I'm like, this is what my phone has come to and it has affected me in this really crazy way. Cell phone, it has been stated that cell phone within you has been shown to be distracting. And I know you guys have felt this too when you're doing homework and you feel the need to pick up the cell phone. Now, in this last slide, I have placed a link to a petition that you all can sign trying to combat these negative effects of cell phones and spread awareness to everybody that we should get rid of this problem and our addiction. And I have also placed a link to the Pepperdine organizations of clubs that you can join and get out and free yourself from screens and being behind one and being distracted by them. In summary, individuals need to put their phones down to prevent a lack of social interaction, low quality sleep, eyesight problems, anxiety, and a loss of focus in our lives because it can ultimately, ultimately get worse if we let this addiction continue. After seeing what, a, what negative effects come of using your phone, what changes are you willing to make?